हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस यू स्टेट हुक्स एंड सी हाउ दे वर्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस एग्जाम्पल एप वेर वी कैन स्विच बिटवीन डार्क मोड एंड लाइट मोड लाइक दिस एंड इट विल ऑल्सो चेंज द डार्क मोड एंड लाइट मोड एंड ऑल्सो चेंज दिस टैक्स राइट ओवर हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज यू स्टेट हुक्स एंड ऑल्सो वी विल प्रैक्टिस सम बेसिक्स बाई क्रिएटिंग दिस एप्स so without wasting any time let's begin with coding our app so first of all to code everything out we will open up the app js file of our of our react native project and also we will start a simulator of uh, whatever you want android or ios i opened the ios simulator because i am using a mac so first of all to code everything just remove all the default default content right over here we will code everything from scratch so first of all we will import everything so react and also use state which is the main thing that we are going to use in this tutorial and we will import this two things from react also we need to import some components from react native so safe area view we need text we need status bar uh status bar we need switch or style sheet first style sheet and switch these are the things that we are going to use in this project and we are going to import this all things from react native now after importing everything we will create our style uh, we will create our style sheet so we will do this inside a function because we need to pass an argument which is dark mode we need to pass a dark mode argument and because of passing that we will use a function so right over here we will return um, style sheet style sheet dot create and we will create it like this for now we will leave it as it is now we will create our main app so we will create const app is uh arrow react node so react node and that will be a function which is we uh, arrow function and we will this is a, just a warning that we are getting this the, this don't have to do anything with our project so we can continue coding you can forget so you can forgive this error and continue so first of all we will create a use state hook so is dark mode and set dark mode and we will set it to use state which is false as default so what we do is uh, we created a setter and getter is dark mode and set dark mode and here we use the use state hook and we set the default value to false now also right over here we will refer to our styles that we created right over here so equals to use styles and we will pass the argument is dark is dark mode so now we got the styles we got the use state hook a setter and getter now we can return our app so in here we will create a empty object first so like this and inside this we will create a status bar and this will be a self closing tag and inside this bar style which will be dark content now after this we will add a save area view this will this will be a this will not be a self closing tag so we will take this and close this tag right over here safe area view and inside this we will add a text text and we will close this like this and take this like this so inside this text we will add a default text with text which is hello world 
so let's save this and also export our app so we can't see it right now because of this error so we need to export our app export default app so now we could see our app and can't find variable use styles okay where it is use style okay i used use styles right here instead of use style okay now i got the hello world text right over here now also we need a switch to send to just change between dark mode and light mode so here it is here we added a switch it was pretty simple add a switch right over here which will be a self-closing tag now the stylings right now are very bad so we need to edit the stylings right over here so first of all we will style a container which will be responsible for our main background so, so we will add a flex of of one which means uh, the whole screen size and the background color of uh, for now red for now just we will change it afterwards and justify content to center justify content to center and also align items uh, to also center now if we save this the did this didn't change anything because we didn't apply the styles right now so to apply the styles we will we have the styles variable already right here so we will add styles dot contain okay style equals to styles dot container now this edited everything and our hello world and switch got centered and also our background color got red now we can just add a styling for text because the text is too small and we also want it to be a little bolder so we will add a style for text and font size we will set it to a bigger size like 64 and also we need a comma right over here uh, so font size to 64 and font weight to bold okay i think that's it and now also we need to apply the style so style equals to styles dot text so now you can see our text got a little bigger and also uh, our switch is right over here and also we need to do one thing now uh, when we got our styles done we can change this to black and this color to white now i will show you why i did this so i made it uh, dark mode so this will be our dark mode now we will create some logic in our switch so we can switch between the dark mode and the light mode so to do this now our this variable will come in action so to do this we need to set a default value to the switch so value equals to now we will give it the default value of this is dark mode and also we need to give on value value change so if the value changes in the future then we need to just uh, go through a function which will set the dark mode which will set the dark mode and if there is dark mode if dark mode is true then it will make it uh, let me just code this out okay if it is true it will become false and vice versa so we will save it for now and let's see if it works okay if we click on this switch it becomes true and if we click again it becomes false and we can use this in this way so now what we need to do here is first of all to make everything change we need to do some give some logic like you know we passed the argument right over here dark mode and we set the dark mode to is dark mode so we can use this is dark mode right over here so we will say if dark mode is true then this will be the text color will be white uh, else okay sorry i had wrong symbol so if dark mode the text color will be white else uh, 
right over here else the color will be black now the same thing right over here but reversed so if the dark mode then the background color will be black else the background color will be white now let's save this and as you can see it changed right over here and we can switch between dark mode and light mode now we can also add one more thing a bonus thing right over here we can change this text also according to the dark mode and light mode so let's say if we are in dark mode so this text will be dark mode and if we are in light mode this text will be light mode so this is pretty easy so right over here we will add some javascript like this like this and we can say is dark mode if there is dark mode uh, the text will be it uh, dark mode else the text will be uh, light mode now let's save this and as you can see the text is currently light mode because it's light mode and if we change this this becomes dark mode now you can switch between this like this and this is pretty cool and also let's uh, let me explain you everything what we did from the starting so what we did is we imported react and used state hook from react we imported some important component from react native also we created a style sheet with a function which passes the argument of dark mode which is later on our dark mode uh, getter right over here so we give some basic stylings and right here we create our app and also we say here the styles to be the text styles or text which is this styles or text and here styles or container which is this styles or container now also we say uh, in the text if there is dark mode so if the dark mode is true the text will be dark mode else if it is false the text will be light mode and also we create a switch uh, the default value of the switch is the uh, is dark mode variable and if the switch value changes then we will say set dark mode to uh, if it is set to true currently it will set it to false if it is false currently it will set it to true so after this we export default export our app and this is very simple and also right over here uh, if there is dark mode if the dark mode is true then we will set the text color to white else the text color will be black and same right over here but the logic will be reverse black will be right here and white will be right here so i think that's very simple and uh, you understood everything very nicely so if you like this video make sure you subscribe my channel and also like this video if you want to see more videos like this you comment down below and i will make the video of your suggested topic so thanks for watching